Welcome everybody to the Minnesota Twins franchise and at last playoff baseball is here for the first time in this series the Minnesota Twins are in the postseason and we are set to take on the Boston Red Sox in our first ever series we skipped over the wild card we are in the ALDS after becoming the number two seed in the American League. The Boston Red Sox were the team that beat us last year in Game 163 when we were trying to make it into the postseason. This year, though, this team is even better, and we finally put it all together, but we have a really tough foe in front of us. Even with home field advantage, making it to the ALCS will not be easy. These playoff episodes are, of course, going to be much different. We'll have multiple games in these episodes, but if there's ever a winner-take-all scenario, whether it be a Game 5 in the ALDS, a Game 7 of any series, those will get their own episodes. So today, playoff baseball begins. Chris Sale versus Dallas Keuchel. Each team gets their ace. Although for the Red Sox, you Darvish put up better numbers than Chris Sale. So here we go, everybody. ALDS in Minneapolis. This is what we've been waiting for. Top first of game one. It is Brock Holt at the plate to lead things off as Keuchel hits the inside with the two-seam fastball. He gets ahead and finishes the at-bat with the strikeout. Holt chases the slider. Next batter, Benintendi will strike out going after that changeup that Keuchel put on the outside corner. That'll bring up Xander Bogarts, who pops up. There you go, Dallas Keuchel, one of the main players we signed to get us to the postseason, has a good first inning. Paul Goldschmidt here. He was another key signing for Minnesota. Bottom one, one away, and Goldschmidt hits this in the air. Off of sale, it's deep to right center, and it is caught. We all know what Miguel Sano has been able to do this season. 50 home runs, a Minnesota Twin record. And his first playoff at bat is a single beating the shift through the right side. Runner aboard for Minnesota. Then Nelson Cruz, chopper up the middle. Good play by Sale and a routine play to finish out the first inning. Both aces get through relatively cleanly. It will go top two, Jackie Bradley Jr. Line drive over short and down for the first Red Sox hit. The third baseman is Roderick Lang and the slider runs inside. Count is full. Keuchel misses with the change up and that puts two aboard for Boston and the catcher, Blake Swihart. Keuchel gets him to air this out to center. Buxton jogging after it back a few steps, makes the catch. Let's continue on. We'll go bottom three with Minnesota. Charlie Blackman, the batter, looks at a fastball that was close. Full count. And the slider just off the plate, says the home plate umpire. So a walk for Minnesota. That brings up Goldschmidt. And this time they call it a strike. Chris Sale at the bottom of the zone. Goldschmidt doesn't like it, but it was a good call. With two away. Miguel Sano hits this in the air. It's a fly ball to center, not hit very deep, and Chris Sale makes it through three scoreless. Top four, there's Mookie Betts with a full count, getting underneath one. The top hitters on both teams couldn't get much going, and we're seeing why these aces are the aces. Two down, Jackie Bradley Jr., a line drive again, this time caught at short by Jorge Polanco. Bottom four, can Puig get us going? No, the fastball upstairs gets him to chase. Into the fifth, Lang, strike three, swinging on the fastball. Matching zero for zero. Keuchel, one down, Swihard out on strikes. That time it's the backdoor slider. We'll go bottom five, the rookie second baseman, Nick Gordon swings right through a sail fastball. He works it full and strikes out a bit behind the 95 mile per hour heat. Both pitchers with their counts in the low 70s. Andrew Benintendi goes the other way. Good swing and the Red Sox get another base runner in the sixth. Bogarts next, 2-1. Fastball right on the corner again. Even count and a line drive to right. Puig reaches down and it's off his glove. Both runners are safe. 
That's definitely a base hit, not a bad play by Puig, just a tough one. Just a little out of reach. And it brings up Mookie Betts with two on, three on, through the right side, base hit. And they will not test the arm of Puig, that's probably a good decision. But the bases are loaded with just one down. The batter is Starlin Castro. This is a fly ball hit well to left, hooking into the corner, it's caught. But it's definitely deep enough to score the first run of the ALDS. Red Sox get the sack fly. Next, it's Bradley underneath it, popping up behind third base. Sano gloves it. The Red Sox only get one, but they have Chris Sale on the mound. Still going into the sixth as Blackman takes this the other way. Line drive base hit. Twins got their best hitters here. Sano hooking down the line and going foul. Trying to give Minnesota the lead. One and one, he's underneath this, now down the first baseline. Easy play. Blackman at second base, two down, and Nelson Cruz trying to bring him home. Grounded up the middle, routine play. Bogarts, tough play at first, and Moreland scoops. Still 1-0. Leadoff man Brock Holt, 0 for 3 on the day, but a runner in scoring position. He airs it out to left. Charlie Blackman over to make the catch. Really good job by Dallas Keuchel. He gave up one run, made it all the way through seven innings. Can the Twins finally get on the scoreboard? Sales energy going down, but still pitching strong as Puig lines out. Polanco with one away. This is going down the line, and it's going to fall in right field. There's another base hit. Twins got to string a few of these together. Byron Buxton turns on one. Aired out, left center field, hit well, but catchable. Two away, here's Nick Gordon. The 0-1, lined over third base and into the corner. Polanco from first, he wants to go three. He's in safely. Gordon halts at first, doesn't test it. Twins just need one more hit. It's the catcher, Mitch Garver. Change up on the inside corner. Sale still in control. And Garver strikes out, swinging on the slider with Sale pitching into the triple digits. On to the eighth inning. Time running out. Tyler Duffy in the game as the first reliever. He made it through the eighth very easily. And in the bottom of the eighth, Twins had their one through three. First two couldn't reach. Here's Sano with the slider at the knees. Sale still with great pitch placement. No chase on that slider. Count is even. And Sano connects. Fly ball deep to right. Or maybe not that deep. On to the ninth inning. The Twins last chance here in game one. Otherwise the Red Sox will take home field. Roderick Lang strikes out. Quackenbush comes in to shut down the top half of the ninth. But the Twins need a run. Here's Nelson Cruz. With a line drive hit well to center, and it's caught by Jackie Bradley Jr. in the gap. Chris Sale still pitching, and he strikes out Yasiel Puig. One more out, can Sale go the distance? Jorge Polanco fouls off the Sale fastball. Pitch 116. On the ground to third. The throw from Lang retires Polanco and game one goes to the Red Sox and they take home field with it. As expected, a pitcher's duel between two of the American League's best, but the Twins just can't crack the scoreboard. Sale, complete game shutout, eight strikeouts, well over 100 pitches. And an early hole for Minnesota going into game two. We had to see Sale. Well, how about the guy that has outperformed him this year, you Darvish. On to game two. Maxwell Fowler on the mound, giving up the base hit up the middle to Andrew Benintendi. Here's Mookie Betts. Two down and hammered to the alley. That is down for extra bases. And while it took a long time for the first run to score in game one, the Red Sox get one early on Minnesota in game two. Uneasy feelings here in Minneapolis with the Twins trailing. But here's a good swing from Goldschmidt. He'll go to right center. Sitting back on that slider, he hits another extra base hit. 
And that puts up Miguel Sano. 0 and 2. Not even close on the 12 6. 2 and 2. Good slider from Darvish. He gets Sano out in front. Against the righty, Michael Conforto is the DH. And he'll take this to right center. That's hit pretty well. Conforto sends it back, and it's off the wall. That'll drive home Goldschmidt, and there's your first playoff run for Minnesota of the entire series. 110 episodes. There it is, off the bat of Michael Conforto. Bottom two. Here's Byron Buxton going deep to left field as he hits it over the outfielder's head. Twins already had a runner on, and this puts two in scoring position. Minnesota looking for their first playoff lead. We know what Byron Buxton has meant to this team this season, and we've had the luxury of now seeing him and Sano play their best baseball. Here's Mitch Garver. One down, 3-2, hit on the ground. Bogarts will go to first with it, pulling Moreland off the bag. The Twins score, and Garver is safe. Can they get more than just this one run in the inning? One down for Charlie Blackman. Line drive left field, that's down. Buxton thought about it, but holds. He would have been out. Here's Goldschmidt. Chopper up the middle and over Darvish. Buxton scores, here comes another. Bradley's throw is too late and Garver is safe. Four to one Minnesota in game two. We needed this early success after the way game one went. Nice lead here for Maxwell Fowler. Now can he give us some shutout innings? After hitting the inside corner, this is a chopper from Moreland as Max does not track it down. Instead, Goldie makes the play himself. That was very awkward. We do a little quick simming here in the middle frames and the Red Sox are able to get a double from Brock Holt scoring their second run. Fowler facing Benintendi, draws the count full. And Fowler has this into center, it is off of Buxton and another run's gonna score. Buxton had a similar play to Puig in game one. Again, it's not an error, it's just a really tough play. But thankfully, his shin, for one, is not broken and also it blocked the ball. Here's Bogarts up next, falling behind. Bogart strikes out. Red Sox get a couple back, but the Twins still have the lead. Darvish already has the pitch count into the 70s as Conforto tries to get a solo shot. 3-2, he'll draw the walk instead. I wanted to see Darvish take an early exit from this game. Here's Polanco, turned on that, it's through the right side. And Conforto will hold that second to a board for Minnesota. That brings up Puig. The 2-1 is hammered to right center, hit fairly well, and that is going to bounce its way to the wall and score at least one. Extra base hit for Puig and two in scoring position, and that would indeed be it for you, Darvish. He only makes it through four innings. What a big start for the offense, but not finished, hopefully. Gordon pops it up. Big out for Boston. Swihart makes the catch. Still got a couple outs. Here's Garver. Two down. Chopper. That's a good play. The Twins couldn't get any more in the inning. The second out was a Byron Buxton strikeout. And then we also go to our bullpen. And this is Rysel Iglesias. We traded to the Red Sox to acquire him. The sinker does not get the call. Castro looks at a fastball again, close, it's a ball. 3-1, everything's close, nothing gets called, Castro walks. Two on, two strikes to Bradley as he grounds it. Here's your typical Rysel Iglesias inning. A couple batters reach, but no one scores. 5-3 Minnesota, we go bottom six, it's Sano to center field. Slicing away from Bradley, but he's got this one, what a catch! Between him and Buxton, I knew we could see a show in center field. Beautiful diving catch. It's always great to see these top-tier defensive plays in the postseason. Here's Iglesias facing Lang. 2-2 two -two count. Lang strikes out a tad behind that 93-mile-per-hour fastball of Iglesias. Then we call on Tony Watson to face the lefties. Benintendi falls behind. 
And Watson's going to get him to chase the slider. Another big strikeout for this Twins bullpen. Two down in the seventh. Bogard. So that got away from Garver. Runner is going to be able to advance the second base. The 2-1. Grounded past Watson. It's through. Buxton charges. They're going to wave the runner. The throw short for Garver. He had to run up for it. And that's going to cut it again to a one-run game. Mookie Betts facing the lefty Tony Watson. Full count two down. Betts hammers it through the infield, and that will help them get first and third. That brings in Jake Reed. We go to another arm that finished strong down the stretch. Here he's going to face Blake Swihart, who grounds it sharply, and the Twins end the inning, maintaining this one-run advantage. Bottom seven, Michael Conforto, the batter. He gets a hold of this. It's down the line. Will it stay fair? It does, and it's gone. Solo home run for Conforto. Another big run producing hit for a player we almost didn't acquire. He was the extra trade we made before the deadline because I wasn't sure we had enough pop in the outfield. He's played a key role now on the team. Twins not done in the eighth as Paul Goldschmidt is able to drive home another run. Three run lead. That brings up Miguel Sano. And there's no doubt about this one. Twins open it up. Nine to four. Another long ball from the home run king from this season. Nobody hit more long balls than Sano. And here's one more in the playoffs. Helping the Twins secure a Game 2 victory in front of the home crowd. But knowing we had a road trip ahead of us in Boston. Still, this was a really fun game and a big one because they have two ace pitchers essentially. But we got after you, Darvish. Got a good enough outing from Fowler. Good job by the bullpen. And of course, Michael Conforto got us going. But now the series moves to Boston for two games. The Red Sox have a chance after winning game one to finish things at Fenway. Yadier Alvarez gets the start in game number three. For the Red Sox, it's Jason Groom. Both pitchers have pretty similar ERA, K per nine, and walk per nine on the season. Although Alvarez had three times the starts. Let's get right into it. Day game playoff baseball. Miguel Sano singles through the left side sharply. Next, it's Cruz starting against the lefty. Gets jammed a bit here. Hit shallow into right and falling in for a base hit. And Sano running at the pitch is able to get to third base. So it's Puig with two on. Hit hard to center. It's going back. Bradley to the track. He makes the catch near the monster. Twins come close. Now bottom one. It is going to be a strikeout to start things off against Brock Holt. Alvarez, two down. Here's Bogarts. The 0-1 is hit softly to Gordon. And it's a routine 1-2-3 inning on nine pitches. Top two. Here's Gordon again. And going the other way. Showing some power. It's out to the monster. And this is off the wall. Gordon all the way to second base. We know he has power. He had that grand slam in the last game of the regular season. But Garver's not going to be able to advance him as he freezes on strike three. Bottom two, Mookie Betts. That's going in the air to center. Falling in front of Byron Buxton for another hit. Swihart next. Grounded over to Sano. Throw to second. Over to first base. Double play. We'll go bottom three. Strong start for Yadier Alvarez. Then Castro on the 3-2, hammering it off the monster. Almost hit the Boston nameplate right there. Jackie Bradley Jr. 1-2, he's going after the slider. That's a filthy strikeout for Alvarez. One away, two on, and Brock Holt grounds it. So no one of the tag, he only has one play now. Could have been a double play had we just started with the throw to second. Instead, the runners advance, and Benintendi pulls it down the line. One run scores. They'll send the other. Puig's throw is late, 
And the Red Sox get two the Twins could have likely prevented. Defensive miscues are not going to work in the playoffs. Twins in a two-run hole as Nelson Cruz drives one back through the middle base hit. Now, I'm not sure how well you can tell here, but with the daytime baseball as Cruz is going to be able to advance, this was a very difficult game for tracking pitches. The way the ball blended in with the fence and everything, that was a tough play, a line drive from Puig. The runner had to freeze. Cruz did not advance, but two on now with nobody out. Polanco swings and misses. Another breaking ball and a wild pitch. It was tough to pick up the breaking pitches here in this game in particular. But now it's Byron Buxton. The sun goes away for a little bit, and he strikes out on the circle change. Twins trying to get at least something. Nick Gordon, two in scoring position. Curveball gets him. Groom had some really good strikeout pitches. Let's go bottom four. Alvarez versus Betts, and this is going deep to right. Puig back, still going over his head, bouncing to the fans over that low wall. Betts in scoring position for Swihart, who can't catch up to this fastball. 0-2. Oh, Alvarez gets him. A nasty slider right on the inside corner. Two down for Jackie Bradley Jr., and he grounds it to the right side. Twins keep it 2-0. to zero. We'll go to the fifth inning. Miguel Sano, the batter. The sun back out, making it more difficult to see. And Sano strikes out. Nobody having any luck on the curveballs, so we go bottom five. Bogarts will strike out now on the change. No scoring in a while. We go top six. 3-1 count to Nelson Cruz, who got a pitch up and sends it to center. Hit well, and off the wall, bouncing away from the outfielders, and still going. Cruz round second, they're still not at it. Cruz to third, he sent home. Relay throw, not in time. Inside the park, Nelson Cruz. Welcome to playoff baseball in the Twins franchise. An unforgettable moment that I'll never be able to duplicate. And Groom leaves after that. I was hoping things would get easier from there. Still tough to see the ball, but we're getting good contact anyway. Base hit Buxton. Buxton goes with two down. Gordon misses and the base is stolen with ease. Can Gordon get us a base hit? It's all it takes to tie it up. Gordon. Lays off the fastball and walks to first. But now Garver, who's had some key at-bats and hasn't come through, and won't on this one either. Fastball inside corner. Big strikeout for the Sox, who still lead by one. Yadier Alvarez still pitching, by the way. His count in the 80s as he gets another strikeout. It's a good call. Settle down. Two away, runner aboard, Castro in the air to right field. Routine for Yasiel Puig as Alvarez gives us a solid outing. Twins still need another run. Here's Sano with a line drive to right that does fall for a base hit. With the Sox going to a righty, we turn to lefty Michael Conforto who doesn't make good contact. And that's going to be a pretty easy out on the swinging bunt. We go bottom seven. Minnesota brings in Tyler Duffy to face Bradley, who strikes out on the fastball. Facing Benintendi. This is hit hard to the gap. Over is Buxton, reaching out to make the catch and taking away a possible extra base hit. On to the eighth. Buxton batting two down. This is hit high in the air to center, but it's hard to get anything in center field here you've got to get some real power bottom eight Duffy still in Bogarts line to left base hit Red Sox looking for a bit of insurance here in the bottom of the eighth inning Mookie Betts so oh, he's not going to chase the cutter Betts ahead 2-1 count and he gets a hold of it out to the monster back and gone Mookie Betts two run shot one run game becomes a three just like that. The Red Sox also get closer to taking game three of the series. 
as they give a nice lead to their closer, Craig Kimbrell. Maybe he's not as dominant as he once was, but still very good. Here's Gordon taking the first pitch up the middle. The rookie wasting absolutely no time. He's aboard. Then Mitch Garver, 2-1 count on the ground. Tough series offensively for Garver as he is doubled up. Twins down to their last out in game three. Charlie Blackman going the other way. Fly ball routine. It's caught and game three goes to Boston. Putting Minnesota in an elimination situation. This is what I feared. The Sox took one in our house, and now we've got to take one to send the series back to Minneapolis for a game five. Great outing for Yadier Alvarez. We just didn't get enough offense, just like in game one. In the two games the Red Sox had won here, we scored one run combined. So on we go to game four, knowing this is it. If we can't win, we must beat the Red Sox. Rick Porcello versus Mike Fultonevich, game four. Two out in the first inning, and Sano's able to pull that into left field for another hit. He's having a productive series. And game two hero, Michael Conforto, as Porcello gets ahead with two quick strikes. The 0-2 is out to right field! Conforto has done it again! Two-run homer and Minnesota takes a first inning lead! Again, it's immaculate timing. When I'm feeling the most nervous, Conforto alleviates those concerns, at least for a little bit. It's the first inning, a long way to go, and you never assume two runs is going to be enough against one of these powerhouses from the AL East. Bottom one, Fulton with a lead. It's a grounder, stopped by Polanco, but no play at first base. Benintendi with Holt on first. Two quick strikes now from Fulton The 0-2 gets him, it's the knuckle curve. Well done by Fulty. Mookie Betts though, seven for 12 in the series. I don't like facing Mookie Betts. One, two, Mookie goes after one below the knees and strikes out. Big first inning for the Twins. Let's take it to bottom two versus Starlin Castro. Sharply past first base with a runner already aboard. He'll go from first to third, Castro to second. And the Sox are in business now with two in scoring position. Jackie Bradley Jr. on the first pitch into center. You can think about testing on this, and they're going to. Buxton will throw it home. One hop to Garver. It's too late. Buxton's an awesome defender, but his arm strength is maybe his worst defensive ability. So the Sox get one, then a pop-up. Oh, nice catch by Goldschmidt inside the Red Sox dugout. We still maintain our small lead. Third inning, Mitch Garver, something went his way finally offensively, besides the error earlier. One on for Charlie Blackman, one to count. That pitch was left up, out to right field. Blackman hits it deep, and that ball is gone for a two-run shot. Another long ball for Minnesota. They're back up now by three. Let's go bottom three now, Fulton Nevich versus Holt. Grounded up the middle, Polanco, tough play, but he makes it look so easy. Benintendi next, though, in one. And on a pitch outside, he's able to pull it to right. Nice line drive base hit. And now Xander Bogarts, full count. Bogarts strikes out on a perfect Fulton slider. But you still gotta worry about Mookie Betts. And the runner goes, stealing second. There's Benintendi. Now Betts trying to drive him home. 3-2, on the ground to short. Polanco's throw is perfect and Betts is retired. Twins still up four to one. Let's go bottom four. It's Starlin Castro with a curveball left up. We got lucky. Another one, two. Castro strikes out, much better pitch that time from Fulton into the fifth, Minnesota. Charlie Blackman up again after his two-run homer earlier. 2-2 two, two count. This time he'll go the other way. Again, hit pretty well. It's got a shot, and it's out of here. 
It's a two home run day for Charlie Blackman. How about this performance? Minnesota opens up a four run lead. Now Paul Goldschmidt, that one's out of here. On an 0-2 pitch, it's left up and Goldschmidt destroys it. Five run game, Minnesota with the home run derby at Fenway. And these fans over in the Monster got a good look at two of them back to back in similar spots. Man, that feels good. Now you've got to do something here, Minnesota. Boston's able to get one more run. We're in the bottom of the eighth now as Blackman backs up to the Monster and makes the catch. Four run game, Bogarts in the air. And we're going to the ninth, everybody. Twins have a nice lead. They'll hand off to Erodis Vizcaino, who became the center mid-season after a trade with Atlanta. Here's Mookie Betts, 2-0, and he gets underneath it a bit too much. Shallow left center, caught by Charlie Blackman, one away. Here's the 2-1. Fly ball right field. Yasiel Puig makes the catch. And two down. Rounded to Goldschmidt. We're going back to Minnesota for a game five. What a series this has been. We have one more game to go. Both teams trade wins and losses, and now we're going back to Minnesota with a chance to clinch our spots in the American League Championship Series. Quite the first playoff series we have here in the franchise, and it's still not finished. So we're going to have a chance now to get Dallas Keuchel back on the mound in this game. Now, Chris Sale, he might also be able to pitch, but he does have less energy because he went so deep in that first game. So it's likely going to be Dallas Keuchel versus Steven Wright. And the winner will meet the Los Angeles Angels in the ALCS as they've already defeated Cleveland. Can Minnesota be a part of baseball's Final Four? With skipping Gary Tadano's spot in the rotation, I think he will be one of the long relievers we have as we go to more of a four-man rotation. I know a lot of teams do in the postseason. We'll have to see how this game goes, though. Everybody gets an off day, so most of the bullpens are going to be just fine. But next episode, everybody, it is a winner-take-all game five, and it's going to be the biggest game of the series. Can Minnesota get one more win and keep their season moving? Thank you all for watching today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this is a fun way to experience the postseason. There's a lot of games, obviously, but I think I did a good job of piecing everything together. Please smash that like button, subscribe, and don't forget to check back for more soon. Have a great day, everybody.